Hi guys and welcome to Angling View. Today you join me at the beautiful Swanlands Fishery on the Chestnut Pool and uh, what we're going to be doing is a review of my legless side tray from Gabalino. Um, they're, they're coming two different variants, well they're coming a few different variants to be fair in the legless um, but the main two big ones there's the hooded and the non-hooded. I've got the hooded today about £120, I got mine in with a deal uh, with the box but the, the retail about £120 if you want it without I think it's around £110 uh, and then for about 80 quid you can get the slim one which at some point we may do and there's also a, a corner one as well that you can get but what we're going to do is a little talk about um, the tray itself, how it how it fits on the box and uh, we'll just uh, see what it looks like. I'm going to jump onto the box myself and uh, go into a few little bits of the features about it first. So first thing you can see about it obviously is, is a really really good size and the materials wise it's really really strong and um, you'll see the hood size when we go on to it. it's a massive massive hood on it um, but the thing about this legless size system that I like the best is the guiding the, the two guiding legs so I just flip it over we've got a little clip here so we can store them underneath we've got two legs on here one is fixed which is this one here and then the other one is on a pivot and that's to allow on other boxes to get the right width to obviously um, get it on your box successfully. Now the other two bits that you can see there and there are what go against your legs as a, as a, a brace basically to, to keep it nice and stiff and nice and straight. There's inserts that do come with them if you have a smaller leg. Um, obviously I've got the 36 legs so that's not an issue. And just moving back onto the front part of it and um, we've got a lovely thick rubber edge and um, here it's just nice a nice piece of coving that sits over the edge and um, again it, it, it's, it stops you from sort of having any sharp edges although the, 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 you know the, they're not sharp and um, it's just something else that's you know a nice bit of safety but also you could hook a little hook on there if you want to hook an up link or anything like that on it you could do quite simply and quite easily and um, the screws that are on on the side trays they do move out to the side as well so when you're slackening it off you can move the bolt out to the side like so and um, to allow you to to get it on nice and easy and um, it takes a little bit of I won't say take it a little bit of use to but it's a little bit different than putting a normal on with that angled um, angled and having those extra legs now the back one is the one that needs to go on first so what I do is get that back one on first and just make sure that's slid on and then you can get the angle on your other one to the right angle that you need which is that and I just slacken that off a little bit so we can get it on and once you've got that in line it'll slide on nicely and then you can sort of get it to the height that you want which is about that for me and nice and easy uh, clamps like they are on the on the Preston box um, and the press inside here really nice strong clamps on there they're a little bit different so it's the snap lock ones on on the, on the Preston uh, one I had these are screw ones really strong and then they've got the support of leg which is underneath making it even stronger now the the, the side tray like I was saying it is super strong um, I probably could sit on it I'm not going to um, but the hood itself is massive I mean look at that bad boy that is it's a big old hood is that and you can see it's going to cover anything that you want and the thing that I do like about this is it's a little thinner material now I really loved the the Preston uh, Ventolite side tray with a hood I love that this is obviously a little bit bigger side tray which is not massively important to me the other one was perfectly um, substantial but what I do like is that the material here is thinner so you can shove right to back what I found with the um, Preston one is that the material was a bit thicker so when it was concertina down so for example when you let this off and it's not raining this part of it is easy to move whereas the Preston one was a little bit thicker and it did uh, it was a bit more difficult to sort of push in um, but other than that you know perfect this itself I reckon is gonna fit well what we'll do we'll get a, we'll cut we'll get a couple of uh, bait trays and we'll put them on but I reckon it's going to fit at least three maybe four across there 
and again across the back and probably even more half tubs behind that but we'll get a few bait tubs and we'll have a look at that um, and see but um, a really strong system and you know yeah it's, un it's just over 100 quid like I said this one's 120 um, at the moment if you look around you can get deals on it and things like that but it really is worth it. It's worth it to have a good side tray um, and well worth putting inve your investing your money in one. Um, let's just flip now. I'll get some bait tubs and we'll just give it a little throw on there and see how much we can fit on. Right guys, so I've got a few, um, a few bait tubs and uh, what we'll do is just stick a few on. Just a few in variation of different sizes. Um, so we've got a superior medium accessory got a large accessory case that shoves there to the back we've got another medium one and then bait tub wise just standard standard bait tubs and you could just about push that in there I mean so you could get a lot on there so that's four six normal size bait tubs and an accessory one if I took these superior ones off I reckon you could probably get so you're gonna get three three deep bait tubs wise That's, they're a bit grim some of these so you're gonna get three three deep I reckon if you've got um if you've got some like pellet tubs or something you'd be able to fit one there Pushing them up there, you'd ever get another two on this end. So I'll just push these down this way. You can have a look. There we get another two. Look, pellet ones on there. If you want to push that up there, you know you could get a paste bowl on there. You know it is massive. There's plenty of space. It's not as big as the the double monster um, one we get from Preston, or you know. But I mean, I don't. I'm never not. I'm never going to hear any more bait than that personally. Um, that's perfect size for me plenty of space um, and I may get the one behind me just because I like to have it there to put my towel my phone and bits and bobs on like that but we'll see we'll see um, down the line and see how we get on with it but like I say love a little bit of kit really easy to put on really strong versatile and um, you're never going to let you down and it's absolutely solid and uh, you know well worth parting your money with so uh, hopefully this uh, this video has been okay just have a look uh, uh, through for his other reviews. We've just we've done one on the box as well, which will probably be up before this. We'll have done uh, we've done one on the pole, uh, the new Gablino pole. We've got lots of other poles, whisker poles, map poles, uh, you name it, Browning poles. They're all on there on the pole reviews. Go and have a look at the playlist that we've got on the YouTube. There's um, features, there's um, tackle reviews, there's pole reviews. There's everything on there, um, and it's just easy for you to find exactly what you're looking for. Join us on the Facebook group, Angling For You, everybody um, is willing to help you on there, the members days um, that we can, that we organise, there's a lot of uh, question and answers um, that people want, want to know information, it's a direct link that you can talk to myself and Matt, um, there's a lot of helpful members on there as well, we've also got a buy and sell along with that. Um, and again on Instagram if it's just pictures you want to share and you don't want to talk too much just posting pictures about what you're doing tag us in there um, and we're always happy to see what people are doing and, and what kind of fish that they're catching so thank you very much for watching as always like share subscribe and um, put a little bell icon and it'll notify you when the next uh, uh, videos are up and then you won't miss any and uh, thanks a lot until the next one guys tight lines